Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel DBT Vibes. My name is Laura and for today's video I'm bringing you the second part of my Halloween Vibes special. This time around I'll be DIYing some gothic kind of witchy accessories for my final look as well as breaking my brains trying to figure out how to make a witch's hat. So shall we begin? So for my very first DIY I'm just gonna be giving a makeover to some old stud dangle uh, earrings and I'm also gonna be using some chains and I'm gonna be painting all of this in black and at first I thought I would simply use black nail polish but in the end it was uh, it was just a mess so I, I did ch ended up changing to black spray paint a lot easier and a lot faster as well and it dries very very fast as well this is such a simple and easy DIY because once everything is painted and dry, you just have to put your dangle earrings and before attaching the clutch in the back, you just add the, the chains so that they drop in the back of your ear, attach the butterfly clutch and that's, that's it. It looks amazing. The only thing is I do have very dark uh, hair, so you can see them much in my case, but they still look very, very, very cool. So now the fun DIY begins and I'm gonna be doing this gothic inspired choker and for that I'm gonna be needing some um, lace strap or lace ribbon and also these, what are they called, um, ribbon clamps or pinch clasps, uh, also some lobster clasp hook, I had to look this up because I don't know the name of these pieces and also the um, jump rings I believe, it's those tiny rings, um, my hot glue gun and some uh, chain that I'm gonna be cutting cutting in different sizes a lot of tiny rings to attach those chains and some um, acrylic paints or whatever paint you have to to create your gemstone and the first thing I'm gonna do is attach those ribbon clamps at each end of my ribbon my lace ribbon I'm also gonna be adding then those little rings uh, at each end so I can add uh, one side the lobster hook and at the other side simply for closure so I can close my choker at the back of my neck. Also you can add if you want to like uh, a chain to make it a little bit easier for you to attach it at the back but I just left it with um, the rings and that's it. So here I'm just showing you how easy it is to open these rings with your pliers and put it at the end of your strap and again just close it, it's super simple, not hard at all. Here I'm just showing you the chains that I'll be cutting in different sizes but I'll do that afterwards. First let's work on our gemstone and actually I found this tutorial in another YouTube channel, I'm gonna be linking it down in the description box but I don't remember the name at the moment but it will be linked down below. Anyway, it's just very easy. You just make different layers of hot glue and paint. And right now I'm just uh, attaching a little ring at the top of my um, of, of this layer of glue so that I can attach my chain. And then I started painting. I'm doing this kind of like gradient effect with two different uh, purple colors. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna be doing a second layer of hot glue. As I'm showing you right here, a second layer of hot glue, I leave, let that um, dry a little bit and then make a second layer of paint. Then a third layer of glue and I believe I left it at three layers of glue, I took it out and now I'm gonna be fixing the back because it's all flat so a layer of paint and a layer of glue. Let that dry and just cut it in any shape you want to. Super easy, like the, the scissors just go through right through the, the hot glue. Well, the already dry hot glue. And now I'm just attaching my the a tiny ring so I can attach my chains and that's it. We're done with our gemstone. So up next, I'm showing you the different sizes I cut the chain. So I had two same size small ones and two uh, same size larger or a little bit longer ones and a bunch of tiny rings so I can attach those chains and my gemstone to my choker 
Here I guess I was just measuring where the center of the or the middle of the choker was and I took my gemstone with a ring, I put it first and then to each side of my gemstone I attach um, two same size chains. And once I'm done with that I'm gonna figure again the center because I guess I lost it and I'll be uh, inserting the ring in there and I guess I close it with the pliers, yes, with the pliers. <laughs> So here we have our gemstone and the two chains. Now I'm gonna figure where I want to place the next two same size um, chains. I guess I just place them right next to the, the center part and just take a look at how I did it. Good. Now we have all our chains attached to the choker and now we need to figure how far or how much we want the chains to like fall on our neck I guess. And so I just figure in how many spaces I have to go outwards to make the chain drop as much as I want it to or as little. And again just use another ring to add it, attach it to the choker or to the, sorry, to the lace strap. Lace ribbon. And I'm already doing the larger one so I know how, um, how many spaces I have to do for the other side so they are equally like divided, separated, yes. There we go. As you can see, I added actually the longer chains to the center or, or ne right next to my to my mm, gemstone, and the shorter chains I attach in right next to the center. Like the longer ones are attached with the gemstone, and the shorter ones are right next to it to the, to the center. And now I'm think I wanted to add like this longer chain that, that goes in the back of all the chains. So right now I'm just attaching it um, for, to make it easier. I'm just putting it right uh, at the front. So you're gonna see me actually like pulling it back so that it, it's actually in the back or um, of all the chains Be or behind all the chain. Now you see me like pulling it to the back and once I attach it, it this is how it looks. So next we have our gothic bracelet, which is very similar to how we did our choker and we need again pretty much the same supplies as well. So we have here our lace strap or lace ribbon. This time I don't have any more ribbon clamps, so I'm gonna be using this um, jump uh, uh, spring ring is what it's called. More chains of course and I'm also gonna be adding a chain to the one of the ends of the strap to and I'm gonna be using this um, old vintage button to create my ring. I'm gonna be making a ring in my, I guess my middle finger. And for that, I'm gonna be using it also some chain because I don't have an actual ring, so I'm gonna make my own. <laughs> and to attach that, we're gonna be using some little, like um, tiny, tiny, what? Rings? Yeah, <laughs> tiny rings. So I'm gonna be using those sparingly. So I'm gonna be using only three to attach um, some chains to the bracelet but for the chain that uh, for the, that I'm gonna use for closure I'm gonna attach it actually with one of the links of the chain. I'm also gonna be burning a little bit the sides of the strap so that it, it doesn't like shred or anything. Some pliers, a little bit of um, wire, um, my scissors and since we are gonna make another gemstone again, I need again this um, silicone case, which I forgot to mention before, but yes, I'm gonna be using a silicone case to create my gemstone and of course my hot glue gun. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure 
how long the strap needs to be and I, I'm going to be burning the sides. This creates like a little bit, it hardens also the fabric so that it doesn't shred as much. And now I'm just figuring where I want to attach that um, spring clasp. I'm using the pliers to open that little gap in there. I struggle a little bit there, but here we go. I'm closing it again and I am done with that. Now, for the chain, as I mentioned before, I'm just opening uh, one of the links of the chain and attaching it to my um, strap so I don't use too many rings that I'm gonna be using for other things. Here, I'm just um, looking that everything fits nicely. And now I need to figure how long I need the chain that goes from my bracelet to my um, middle finger needs to be. So now that I know how much, I cut it out. Now I have my chain and I'm also going to be cutting two same size or same length um, smaller chains. So I'm, I'm just to make sure that I have the same amount for both chains, I'm counting them. And here I have one. And now I need to count to make sure that the other one is the same length. Good, now I have my two chains. Now let's attach all these three chains to my bracelet. And for that I'm gonna be using one ring. Let's open it and insert it in the strap. And now I'm gonna insert uh, one of the smaller or shorter chains to each side so that the longer one goes right in the middle between those two shorter chains. So all chains attached, we now need to figure how much we want those shorter chains to hang. And I'm just counting the spaces to make sure that it hangs a little bit loosely. So using another ring, I'm going to attach it to the strap or the ribbon. Here's one. And with the same um, amount of spaces, I'm going to attach it to the other side, the other chain. Good, we are done with that. It's time to make our ring. So we first need to make measure our finger size and I'm just counting like how many links of that chain I need. I'm gonna be removing one and here I have the tiny chain that I'm gonna be using as a ring. And to attach that to my uh, button, I'm gonna be using these two little rings. And remember that I also need to attach the chain that goes from the bracelet to the ring so first let's attach one of the ends of that tiny chain that's going to be our ring to the button so that's what I'm doing right here closing that little ring there we go so now let's go to the other side um, where I have to add to that little ring I'm gonna insert the longer chain that's going from the bracelet and the chain that the uh, that's the other end of my ring and right inside that uh, loop from the button and now I have my ring ready and we're pretty much done with this part or with the bracelet but I wanted to add like a tiny gemstone that I want to be adding at the end of the chain that I'm using as closure for my bracelet And I forgot to mention it in the choker video, but we're gonna be using a silicone case. And it's pretty much the same steps as I did for the choker. It's basically a layer of hot glue, a layer of paint. And the reason why I mentioned wire was because I don't have any more tiny rings. So I made a little ring uh, to make sure that I can attach this tiny gemstone to my chain. So this time I guess I used a mixture, a mixture of um, paint and nail polish. I'm done.
pretty much done i removed it from the case and i'm fixing the back because it was flat and here i am showing you actually how to cut it i forgot to uh, film how to cut the bigger gemstone but i'm just making like a like a tiny stone shape and once i'm done with that i'm attaching it to the end of my chain and that's it we are done with the bracelet And last but not least is our witch hat. And kind of because confession time, I actually ended up making two of these. Oh, it was such a headache, but I do love the results. Anyway, so here I'm using another hat I already have to like outline the brim. Um, and I'm doing it directly to the fabric, but I realized that it was actually better to do it in, uh, to actually make a pattern. So that's what I'm doing right here. I took a paper, I took well, two papers together and may uh, outline the brim so that I can actually find the center of the hat because um, it's easier this way. So I'm just going to fold it in half and I actually already measured this, the like the thickness of the brim. So how long from the outer border to the inner brim. That's actually what I'm, I'm drawing here and I'm finding the center so that I know that uh, everything is nice and equal size all sizes are equal and here we go like nine centimeters I believe like the brim is I believe 13 centimeters or 12 and a half and from the from the center to the inner brim is like nine centimeters so it's nine centimeter it's a nine centimeter radius for the smaller circle so I'm using the, the never the never gets old technique um, with the yarn and the pencil and I'm just going to cut this out. And for the brim, you're actually going to need two. Like here, I'm just showing you one, but you need, uh, well, I use two fabrics, like one at the top and one at the bottom. And now I'm going to ma be making the pattern for my cone. And for that, I just went as high as I wanted. <laughs> and in my case, uh, it's 48, 48 centimeters. Yes, 48 centimeters. And I'm attaching my measuring tape with a pin so I can make a curve at the bottom. And this curve, you just go as far as you want to because um, what you, where you're actually going to stop is the half of the diameter of the inner brim. So in my case, it's 50 six centimeters so the half is 28 centimeters so when i done with those 28 centimeters i'm gonna make a mark right there and that is exactly where i need to connect the top of my hat and the bottom of the cone there we go so uh, now i'm just like fixing the curve at the bottom but it didn't really make any difference in my case so don't pay attention to that now i'm taking one of the of the um, brims the brim panels should i call it like that and i'm gonna attach the inner circle or the inner brim with the bottom of the cone and use as many pins as you want to and in my case i i did ended up having um a little bit more fabric at the cone for the cone so I'm gonna be cutting that after I sew this all together so now that I've sewn with a straight stitch uh, I'm gonna be sewing now the sides so all the sides of the cone to the bottom and the side of the brim and now when we are done I took the other panel of the brim and I'm gonna be actually putting right sides together so the, what you're seeing from the cone is actually the right side and what you're seeing right now is the, the wrong side of the other panel of the brim. So right sides are together. They are mirroring each other. Like so. And as I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I actually totally erased from my brain that I did bought, bought uh, some lining. Um, I bought uh, thick felt and I totally forgot that. So I'm actually using stuffing. Ah, but anyway, I just sew it all together um, all around the borders and I'm just going to take this inside out. So now that everything is okay, 
it just the fact that I use stuffing it just makes it look more like a little bit fluffy I guess but it looks nice I, I liked it, the results so now we have our um, it's almost done we, we are almost done with the hat and I just need to sew the inner brim together so making sure that I don't sew over my cone or anything so I'm gonna be using the same seam as the the one that connects the cone with the inner brim and um, now I'm just adding some stuff into the cone so that it sticks a little bit up because it's quite I don't know loose and attach some stuffing and I'm just showing you here that I'm gonna be making a few stitches so that it looks um, it curves a little bit at the top and I'm also going to be uh, top stitching all around the border of the brim just so that it doesn't look so round and now I'm showing you here that I'll be using these um, paper roses for decoration and actually if you watch my last video I show you how to make uh, paper roses and I'm also gonna be adding this very big long feather it's beautiful and a few tiny ones and everything is glued together but the ribbon I'm actually gonna be only attaching it with a few stitches here and there so I can remove it if I need it and when I'm done with that oh I'm actually also showing you that I'll be making a few stitches to the top of the cone so that it curves and when you're done you're gonna end up with something like this I don't know I really like how it looks um even though it cost me a few headaches it's beautiful and I hope you enjoy it and how about we see everything together I really hope you enjoyed this second episode of Halloween Vibes. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, come talk with me and leave a comment below, share, subscribe and ring that bell button so you don't miss my next video. Till next time, good vibes, good night. <laughs>